New at noon, it is official. It's no longer PNC Arena in Raleigh. Today, the building is officially Lenovo Center. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Young. And I'm Liz Ortiz. CBS 17's Dina Harley is live at the center with the major change. Dina. Yeah, hey, Bill, and let's just take a look behind me. You can see we are getting front row action to the changes happening here at what we all know and love as the PNC Arena. We know behind that white tarp there on the building is a big sign that says Lenovo. It looks like right now they are putting up the word center because that's the new name, the Lenovo Center. It's just the start of some major changes happening here at the arena. All in, that are present for this meeting, do you say aye? Aye. 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 And with that unanimous vote, it's official. I am pleased to announce as the chairman of the Centennial Authority that our arena is now called the, P the Lenovo Center. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye to the PNC Arena and hello to the Lenovo Center. The Centennial Authority signing off on the name change on Thursday morning after the existing agreement with PNC expired. There's been a lot of behind the scenes legwork being done, but ultimately I think the right decision is, you know, it's, it's, it's a great move for, for them, it's a great move for us. The Centennial Authority will pay up to $1 million to change signage in and around the center. Other funding will be handled by Gale Force Sports and Entertainment, who is partnering with the Centennial Authority on a sports and entertainment district. With the name change, Lenovo also becomes the official technology partner of the Hurricanes. You know, this area is growing, this entertainment district is growing, and so we're excited to have our name associated with that. Major changes for the loudest house in hockey that will look completely different all around over the next few years. Well, it's funny, like if you go on Ticketmaster, like I wonder if Ticketmaster is going to change their, their name of the arena tomorrow or today even. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, those are the strange things you don't talk about. And again, that signage and all of that change happening right now. We're told all of the signage should be off of the outside of the building by the end of this week. Inside, though, it's going to take a lot longer, of course. We're told that signage should all be switched over by the first puck drop of preseason. In Raleigh, Dina Harley, CBS 17 News.